If you ever have to mend something and you own the Husqvarna Viking Onyx 25, I want to show you which stitch to use, the settings and how to make a mending project go from a headache to done. So first off, if you've got to rip in some fabric, you are going to need to put something behind it. Another piece of fabric, some stabilizer, something to secure the back of it. If it's got a lot of frayed parts to the rip, you might even put a little iron-on interface to kind of hold it all in place. And then we're going to pick the perfect stitch to kind of really pat, pat down or stitch down those stitches. We're going to do it kind of down and then we're going to go back and back and forth and back and forth. And if you've matched your thread to your fabric, you will not see this at all. Today we're going to leave that variegated thread on that we've been using and um, so you can actually see it. I've also put the foot B on. That's the one with the cutout underneath. So as we make these stitches really close together, there's room for those the thickness of the stitch to kind of still go forward and back and not get hung up. So one of the things you'll want to do is go ahead and set your machine to probably five or six. So let's go ahead and do six. That's going to put the maximum width of stitching across. And the stitch we want to use is actually a multiple point zigzag. So the on the third section over is the one we're going to use. And we're going to use the first stitch. So we're in charge of stitch length. You're going to be somewhere between zero and one. As we start to stitch, if the stitches are coming fairly quick, we're going to shorten those up so we don't have to go back and forth as many times as necessary. Now, also, if the rip is here, we're going to kind of start in an upper corner, start by coming down. And as I like to explain to my students is you almost need to, re you know how you vacuum and you go forward and then you kind of come back a little bit and then you go forward and you're kind of just overlapping what you've done before and make those pretty vacuum marks on your carpet. Do you do that too or is that just me? But I love to see that back and forth. So you're almost like making a, an N as you're working it. Uh, as far as you need to go. As we come forward and come forward enough, we're going to then hold the reverse button down for the return trip. Hold it down, hold it down until we get all the way back. And then when you're ready to come down again, let go and it's going to go back and forth. So first thing we're going to do is test, do we have the stitch length close enough so we don't have to go back and forth as many times, just a nice solid look each time we do it. Okay, before I get started, when I sewed my button on, I realized because I used variegated thread and the way it popped out, um, I had purple on one side and pink on the other and it was just kind of cute. So lucky, lucky little draw there, but that was <laughs> kind of a fun little happy accident. Okay, so back to our mending stitch. As you can see that we're getting a nice forward, but not too dense look. We could shorten that up a little bit, but just for today, let's just go ahead and do it just like that. Okay, I'm going to hold the reverse button down and then just angle my fabric back a little bit and then forward again, just enough to kind of overlap what I've done. And oftentimes I'll just stitch with my finger on the reverse button so I can just kind of move my, I'm moving the fabric with one hand and then reversing as I need. Isn't that going to be so much better than trying to do it by hand? Believe me, mending is just this easy. Once you kind of finally get to that pile that might be piling up, before you know it, you can have all those areas filled in. Maybe you do want to do variegated thread. Forget matching it. Why don't you add some fun to the kids' clothes with some extra colorful variegated thread? So I hope you'll check out all of our videos on the website, the YouTube, for you to learn this machine inside and out. We've got a complete playlist right here at the end that you can click on and start watching these videos from the beginning and master your beautiful Husqvarna Viking Onyx 25 sewing machine from beginning to end.